I'm Adil Kumar and here is another interesting question from previous test paper. Question number 12. A small baseball stadium has 10,920 seats. The first row of seats has 220 seats and the number of seats in each subsequent row increases by 16. How many rows of seats does the stadium have? Right, so that's the question for you. So let us see how to figure it out. So it says a small baseball stadium has so many seats. So we are given total number of seats. The first row has 220 seats and the number of seats in this subsequent row increases by constant amount, which is 16. So we are talking about arithmetic series, right? Now in this particular question, we are given A initial number of seats is 220 we are also given d it increases by 16 and we are given the sum s of n which is 10 9 2 0 correct so all this information is given to us now to find the solution we just need the formula for the sum right so let me also give you the formula for the sum which, which can be used now there are two formulas which you have learned one is when you know the last number and the first number since we don't know the last number we cannot use that one so here the formula to be used will be that this sum is n divided by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d right so that is the formula which you need to use you can use calculator to solve this question you can actually pause find the answer and then check with my solution okay let's begin total number of seats is 10 9 20 let me write down that here 10 9 20 we need to find n so we'll just keep it as such 2 times a is 220 substitute whatever you know right and here we have n minus 1 times d is 16 right that's what we have now uh, we can actually simplify what is inside 440 or rather we can we can divide okay that's okay so we'll write 440 plus open the bracket 16n minus 16 okay now n divided by 2 is 440 minus 16 so if the calculator is required no harm is using it right it is 424, so 424 plus 16n, right? Now, let us open this bracket. So, let's take it to the right side. So, we have 10, 9, 20, total number of seats equals to, we are opening the bracket, that means n divided by 2 times 424 plus n by 2 times 16n right so so half of this is 212 so we have 212n plus 8n square equals to 10 9 20 is it okay so that is what we get now what we can do is we can bring all the terms together so let's write down 0 equals to 8n square plus 212n minus 10 920 now since all the terms can be divided by 4 so let's just divide everything by 4 so that we have a simpler equation right so we are dividing by 4 all the terms just to simplify so we get let me check if we could divide by 8 right so let me check if we could divide by 8 uh, 4 we know we can right so 212 divided by 8 is is a fraction so we are dividing by 4 okay so we'll just divide by 4 8 divided by 4 is 2 so we get 2n square and uh, 212 divided by 4 is equal to 53 plus 53n minus 10 920 divided by 4 equals to 2730 so that's a quadratic equation right now you can use the formula 
so in this equation the formula could be n is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a right so that is good way of finding the answer so let's use the quadratic formula and find what the, is the value of n so n equals to minus b is 53 plus minus square root of 53 square minus 4 times a and c so it is 2 times that is minus so i'm making this oh let me write like this 2730 okay so that becomes plus right okay divided by 2 times 2 2 times 2 so that gives us the all the values now we need to use the calculator to figure it out right so let's figure out this term in the square root so we have a square root of 53 square minus and minus is plus so i'm writing plus here 4 times 2 times 2730 2730 equals 2 so we get 157 so we write this as minus 53 plus minus 157 divided by 4 right so we cannot take the negative value it is some positive value correct so we'll use the positive value that is we'll do 157 minus 53 divided by 4 that's the valid answer so 157 minus 53 equals to divided by 4 equals to 26. So we get 26 as our answer for the given question, right? So it says how many rows of seats does the stadium have? So our answer is 26 rows, right? So we can write answer as 26 rows. Okay. So that's how you can actually find the solution of this particular question now here is an extension to it that is to say if we add five more rows let's say part b if we add five more rows right if we add five more rows how many seats will be there okay so that is your extension to the given question right so that's what you have to figure out so if we add five more rows in this case it becomes uh, 31 right so if there are 31 rows for the same condition then uh, what will be the number of seats right that's how we can actually now i hope you understand how to solve such questions i'm anil kumar you can always subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.